All right, fellas, I got a eBay tool haul here today. Uh, a couple little things I picked up. I just kind of like this stuff, so let's see what it is. Oh, it packages it good. That's good packaging there for putting something in an envelope. Got the old uh, pliers wrench here made for Eiffel. It's the Eiffel gear wrench. This is the smaller version. These are more rare, hard to come by. Scout Crafter. I'll leave a link in the corner to his channel. He does a lot of refurbishing of these. I figured I'd go ahead and pick one up and uh, try to do the same. Now uh, this one being rare and all is worth quite a bit more so I'm not going to go all full Scout Crafter on it. I'm going to try to uh, just clean up some of this other crap and you know keep it in good working order. So on these guys right here they adjust a little different than the pliers we have today. You have to pull it all the way down, pop it over. While this is over, you can slide this back and forth to get your different nut and bolt sizes. And you know, on both ends has that uh, sweet looking little jaw set there. It's gonna be great for hose clamps and all kinds of different stuff. And they aren't locking, they don't lock like vice grips or anything, but there's lots of different jaws for this side over here seen everything from pipe cutters to regular old pipe jaw. These things are just money. Also has this little screwdriver edge down here. And this was made in 1936 and back then the cost was four dollars. That's probably eight thousand Canadian now. Now to number two. This right here is the hand vise. Small little dainty stuff. The jaws on these, they're pretty nice. I mean got a couple file marks in them but that's to be expected I mean you're getting these down close to something I can imagine before vice grips were a thing these were what guys used to hold on to little bitty things when they were putting it up next to the wire wheel or the grinder these are used by a lot of like jewelers and goldsmiths silversmiths even blacksmiths we'll do a little work on this guy too it's actually really clean there it says this is a Goodell Pratt, Greenfield, Massachusetts. It really does just have a nice patina on it. There's no rust or anything. The teeth and the jaw look pretty good. That's a good deal. You can pick these up. Sometimes you can get them for as cheap as ten bucks. They're not going to be. They're going to be beat up pretty bad if you get them, get a set for ten bucks. But they go all the way up to fifty, and so you try to find the best looking one you can for as cheap as you can obviously and uh, these were $27.50 so they were right in the middle of that $10 to $50 range. I was trying to combine shipping on this with the guy. I had three auctions I was into. One of them was SK Ratchets. He had a couple of real old ones. He had them down for like $14. Bucks. I messaged him said hey I'm interested in this and this and this. Let's combine shipping because he said he combined shipping. And while we were in the process of doing that, somebody bought those ratchets out from underneath me. Out of the kindness of his heart, he went ahead, refunded me all the shipping costs for this and this. I just paid straight six bucks for this and twenty-seven fifty for this. Hella thank you for that. Uh, I really wish I could have got those SK ratchets, but just wasn't my time, I guess. You know, that kind of shit happens. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe, love, hate, hardknocksforge, gmail.com. Don't send me any panties, because they never fit.